Okay, um, welcome to this webinar. Um, we're going to discuss the MSC in Pharmaceutical Quality Assurance and Regulation, TU258 and um, TU288, and also another MSC program, the MSC in Pharmaceutical uh, Validation Technology, TU289. TU288 is um, the MSC in Pharmaceutical Quality Assurance and Regulation. It's a part-time program and it is delivered over two years. That's obviously um, stage one part-time, which is then followed by six month dissertation, which is um, stage two. This MSc program is offered to those who are currently working in the pharmaceutical and related industries. And some of the related industries may include the uh, food, food industry, hospital environment, um, or other closely related industries. The, the MSc program is designed to upskill graduates currently working in the pharmaceutical industry. So, you know, it is very much uh, based on those who want to come into the pharmaceutical industry, but maybe in the other industries at present and want to make that um, transition. So it is enabling those to make that uh, transition. Um, we recruit students each year into the program. So we have year one and year two cohorts. And typically what we will take in in any one year would be 10 to 12 students. However, uh, we do co-teaching on this MSc program. So we, we have, as I've mentioned, year one and year two students, and we also co-teach with our full-time MSc program. So we may have uh, as many students as up to 40 students in a, a class. Uh, the, the graduate roles um, uh, range from quality operational specialists to various supervisory roles to a, a lot of different management positions. So it depends on where people uh, are with regard to their career and at what point they want to do the MSc programme. For us, um, our goal is to ensure that um, the students continue to be able to deal with uh, challenges that are encountered in their quality roles in the pharmaceutical industry, because I think as we're all aware, um, these days, the pharmaceutical industry is a, a very fast changing industry. So this MSc program uh, was first validated in 1999 and um, that was as a part time program and it has gone through many, many changes since then. We had a program review uh, last year in 2021. And what we now have for this MSc program is we have nine taught modules and we have one dissertation module. So what we did during this review is that we combined some modules to give um, the students a more rounded view of some of the topics. So we now have three 10 ECTS modules, six five ECTS modules, and then our dissertation, which is a 30 ECTS module, which makes up a total of 90 ECTS for the MSc programme. For this um, MSc programme, one of the changes that we made um, in 2021 following the programme review was to move to online delivery of this programme. So there is a mixture of synchronously and asynchronously delivered uh, lecture material. So it depends on the module and the lecturer. Um, for those who are considering embarking on the MSc programme and have busy lives, there are a number of exit awards uh, possible. We have uh, an exit award of a postgraduate certificate after um, 30 ECTS. Uh, an exit uh, with a postgraduate diploma after 60, 60 ECTS, and then an exit with the MSc degree, which as I've mentioned above, is a total of 90 um, ECTS. So that I suppose is a very short synopsis of the part-time MSc programme currently offered to those who are working in the pharmaceutical industry or related industries um, in Ireland. Um, so that's if that's um, this programme at present. So I'll pass it on to you, Elaine. Great, thanks, Fiona. 
So my name is Elaine Harris and I'm the program coordinator for the full time MSc in Pharmaceutical Quality Assurance and Regulation TU258. Um, it's the sister program of the one that Fiona just spoke about TU288 and this is delivered over one year stage one full time followed by a six months industrially relevant dissertation stage two of the program. Um, this program has been designed as a bridging program that will upskill graduates that want to work um, as quality professionals in the pharmaceutical industry. And with that in mind, we offer this program to a, a broad range of graduates with BSCs, engineering, um, across a number of different um, areas from pharmaceuticals to chemistry to pharmacy to biotech. Um, typically our intake is between 15 and 20 students per year. Up to one third of these students tend to be international students. Uh, we offer our places based on um, a, an application um, through the TU website, uh, TU Dublin website, and we interview all the students um, that we take on. And the reason that we interview them is to see if they are a good fit for the programme and if the programme is a good fit for them in terms of their career aspirations. Uh, the graduate roles that our students generally find are typically quality operations specialist roles across the pharma uh, med device sectors and related areas. Again, similarly to the 258, this programme was first validated in 1999 and has gone through these many changes um, from a, originally a part time programme to now an offering that's part time and full time. Um, following the programme review in 2021, we now have nine taught modules and one dissertation module. Uh, the taught modules um, are comprised of three 10 ECTS modules and six 5 ETS modules, ECTS modules. And then there's a 130 ECTS dissertation, giving a total of 90 ECTS for the entire programme. The programme is delivered via a hybrid model of delivery. Um, some of it is in person and some of it is delivered online. The modules that are co-taught with the part-time programme TU288 are taught online, either synchronously or asynchronously. As with TU288, there are three possible exit awards available to students on this programme. With 30 ECTS, there's a postgraduate certificate. With 60 ECTS, there's a postgraduate diploma. And with the 90 ECTS, there's an MSc degree. And finally, these are the modules that are currently offered for both the TU258 and TU288 MSc um, programmes. As you can see, they cover the breadth of the quality roles within the pharmaceutical manufacturing environment. Um, and we have introduced a number of changes over the past year um, following a review um, to make it even more industrially relevant We've introduced um, some of the, the newer modules around advanced therapies and innovative medicines very recently. Um, so that's the, the, the programmes for the part time and full time MSc in pharmaceutical quality assurance and regulation. And I'm going to hand over to John Cassidy to speak about the final master's programme we're talking about tonight. Uh, thank you very much, Elaine. I'm uh, John Cassidy and I'm the um, uh, course coordinator for the MSc in Pharmaceutical Validation Technology. And this is, I suppose, similar in structure to the first part-time course that Fiona was talking about. Um, it is uh, a part-time course. It is delivered over two years. The taught component uh, involves uh, 30 ECTS for each year. And um, as a part-time course, uh, once again, um, students are, are interviewed. And they're interviewed uh, to, well, to allow them uh, an idea of what the content of the course is. And also, um, as Elaine said, to see if they're uh, a good fit for the course itself. Um, many of the students uh, already work as uh, validation engineers in either the pharmaceutical or medical device industry. 
um, and the course is designed to give them a much wider view of uh, validation. Um, we also interview them uh, to let them know what the work, I suppose, content associated with the course is. Um, because in addition to their full-time uh, employment, that they will be doing modules and they will be doing uh, assessments. And, uh, and so there is a, a, a certain amount of uh, work associated with that. And it's always better to make people aware of what, what they're letting themselves in for. Um, as I said, the, the taught uh, component of the course uh, is over two years. Uh, that there's 30 ECTS in year one, 30 ECTS in year two. And uh, as Fiona and Elaine have said, uh, students can leave with um, a postgraduate uh, diploma. Um, in order to continue on to the MSc, rather than carrying out a dissertation, uh, in the third year of the programme, there are two 15 ECTS capstone modules. And these are designed to essentially employ uh, the skills that the, the students have built up over the first two years. The capstone modules are in um, validation strategy and also there's a consultancy project. Um, and uh, I suppose in the blue there, there are uh, a flavor of the um, modules that are covered uh, in the course. Um, so uh, that's about all I have to say about the MSc in pharmaceutical validation technology. Um, I'm uh, open and I think Fiona and Elaine are open for, uh, for any questions.